like a hell cut. Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Upskid and Joe PT and I'm the owner of the Benchart channel. So you can add me on Twitter if you want, it's at uh, Benchart underscore art. So today we have here the Technomancer, it's a game that is developed by Spiders and it uses the Silk Engine, which is a, an, an heavy modification of, um, of Fire Engine, which is an engine that was created by Sony and you can see it on Dark Souls and things like that, which is pretty strange because it's Looking to the Technomancer is not even close, but okay. So Spiders is well known for developed games like Bound by Flame, like Mars, and some old uh, Sherlock Holmes uh, games Look that exactly. now it's uh, now is very different. So uh, the Technomancer is basically an, an RPG that uh, they developed. Uh, I, I mean, well, Spiders is well known for developed uh, RPGs that usually never get uh, too much success. I don't think the game is bad. I've been playing uh, a little bit of it uh, in this first level. It uh, it feels nice, but the combat system for me it's a big wet down. It feels that uh, the combat is not smooth. It's like stuck. Sometimes I press. Uh, two times to avoid and um, the character avoids the attack but after two seconds he avoids again and then what I pressed this key two seconds ago and only now it reacts so this is a problem of responsive uh, in this game uh, in the combat and it is something that I truly don't like about it but all the rest it seems very complete in my opinion it's very complex you have a lot of skills here that you can use we are not seeing too much in this video but okay you can see, uh, you can have a lot of skills, uh, a lot of poses of combat uh, that you are going to see here. Uh, it can be really very different. So about the settings, as you can, s you, you may, must have seen. Uh, I'm playing this at uh, 720p with all the settings on the lowest settings possible. I can't drop more the settings, and I'm using dynamic resolution, which lowers the resolution lower than 720p if necessary. Which I believe that the game is already. Uh, using, but the problem is if you look to the frame rate counter, uh, I'm just having like 25 frames, 27s. Uh, it's all lower than 30s and many times lower than 25. I'm using MS Afterburn to record, which takes like two frames per second. That is not too much, in my opinion. And now we are seeing uh, 17 frames, so it's a little bit horrible. Let me just finish the fight and switch. Um, to the other resolution that I'm going to benchmark. Okay, so let's see. Let me just switch. Okay, 800 per 600. Very old and fashioned resolution. <laughs> so this resolution is what I'm going to use until the um, the end of the video. If you want to check the results without recording, I made um, two separate runs of the resolution 800 per 600 and 720p for you to, to have an idea how it runs, but I'm going to stop the, um, the benchmark as soon as uh, I defeat all the, all the guys and before starting to appear monsters, so spoilers here. So that's all I want to talk for now, so hope you enjoyed this video until the end and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance, a lot of them. 
but they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won. Stay near. The structure is like a maze. The inexperience could easily become lost. Come <laughs> 
Sometimes I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you who kept this door. It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? The knowledge. These creatures do not belong here. Their very presence is a danger to the relics. They seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. I was fascinated. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we are still faced with so- This is the main room. The console over there. Active. Registration, March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized, pulse elevated but steady, unaffected by any visible health concerns. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing and I, and I feel like I take on the world, and it's, and I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. Subject self report is consistent and substantiated with our measurements of human and other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to the mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, is the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable of evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. This man. Talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if... I can't believe! And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers. Speaks of the first technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? I don't... but... We have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us, unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well. So have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now. More so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged, for we will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes. Yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so... They must have breached lower in the dome. Then that's where we must go. I will divert the attention of these creatures. At the base of the dome, we will find... They swarmed here. They must have dug a passage. I'm on it.
Welcome back now to the performance section of the video of the Technomancer. So as you can see the performance uh, on the 720p uh, without recording, what I get is an average of uh, 27. It's not bad uh, looking to this and we can see a minimum of 6 uh, which was just uh, some stuttering that I got there, nothing important. Uh, but as you can see the frame rate of the game will be mostly over between uh, 20s and 30s, there are some dips there a little bit lower than 20s while 800 per sec standard uh, we get sometimes frames lower than 30s but it's a little bit more uh, rare so looking to the consistency we can see that 800% of the frames will be lower than 30 fps on these sequences under 720p while 800 per sec standard it's only 8% of the frames that will be lower than 30 fps so in my opinion and logically 800 per 600 offers a better stability and if this game i'm not sure about this game game i'm not sure about the gameplay of this game on the future but uh, might get a little bit complicated if the frame rate gets a little lower uh, i didn't benchmark the parts where the monsters were there and all that spiders going around but uh, you could have saw that on the video at 800 per 600 the frames were gone were gone to 20 fps when we entered the dome so we can imagine that the game uh, maybe a little bit forward could be could still be demanding so 700 720p probably would have there like 15 frames which doesn't seem playable so I, I I have a feeling that for playing this game in this laptop I guess the best solution is really 800 per 600 which is uh, horrible but if you really like spider team and if you like their games I'm pretty sure that you are going to like uh, this game any, anyway despite the resolution that uh, that you are going to choose so this is uh, other stats about the game, uh, these stats are uh, at 720p, so we got a VRAM, you know, VRAM usage of 900 megabytes. it's not a problem. Uh, the RAM usage was uh, 4 gigabytes. so but keep in mind that uh, my laptop is full of shit, uh, so I believe that this game with 4GB of RAM can run fine uh, too. CPU doesn't seem to be the problem and like usually uh, the GPU is the fault of the bad performance. So that's all I want to talk uh, about the Technomancer, hope you did enjoy this video, if you want to support me, press the subscribe, like, uh, uh, subscribe button, like it and comment if you have any doubt about anything, okay? So thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon, goodbye.